What's up y'all, Jamie here, and this is my channel, Sensible Home with Jamie. Today I have a Scentsy video for you guys. I have been snipping through all of the scent categories in the Scentsy Spring and Summer 2023 catalog. So far I have done all of the new releases, I've done the fruity category, I've done citrus, floral, and fresh, and today we're going to look at the woods category. Um, so. Scentsy breaks up their scents into the into different categories um, to make it kind of easier to shop by. It's not always accurate um, in my opinion, but um, anyway, look, we're gonna sniff through all of these just to kind of give you an idea of scents that you may want to pick up. Um, just to get this out of the way, I am an independent Scentsy consultant. I do not market um, for people to sign up through me. I do not try to get people to sign up to become a consultant under me. I do not feel comfortable doing that. I literally just signed up to being consultant so I could get the discounts for myself and get all the testers because um, I like Scentsy, so for myself. So if you wanna see any of the other sniff through videos that I've already done, I will link them below. And I still have the bakery category, the spice category, and then the licensed, um, since to go through which will be coming up soon um which are like the disney and the harry potter scents so all of these scents in these videos that i'm doing in these sniff sessions are in the catalog all spring and summer long they're not limited time offers or anything like that so if there's any limited time offer scents that you're looking for they're not going to be in these videos because those aren't part of the catalog okay so first we have um blue sage and tonka I don't know if you probably can't see it anyways, it doesn't matter. Blue Sage and Tonka, it's been around in a couple of catalogs. It was in the last, um, the winter catalog too. It says, revel in the richness of midnight sage and black lavender over the sultry sweetness of Tonka bean. And in the fall and winter, whenever I smelled this, I thought it was gross, but I'm actually really liking it right now. Okay, I definitely agree with it being in the woods category because it is more of like a deep woodsy floral. Okay, yeah, I think um, it's the perfect mix of sage and that black lavender. It doesn't smell like a medicinal lavender. It doesn't smell like a traditional, you know, like purple lavender. And maybe that's just the sage and the tonka um, toning it down because I traditionally don't like lavender scents. I think the tonka bean is everything in this scent because if we didn't have that slightly sweet tonka bean, the sage and the lavender would be too medicinal, I think, and too, um, too pungent, you know? Oh, this is, yeah, this is a good one. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to actually get a bar and, and warm that because like I said, the first time I smelled this, I was not a fan at all, but I'm liking it now. So that's Blue Sage and Tonka. Next is Bonfire Beach. And this is a bestseller. A lot of people love, love, love and swear by Bonfire Beach. I'm just not one of those people yet, okay? Um, I tried it last spring and summer and I couldn't even burn it more than a couple of hours because it would, or warm it, not burn it because the sandalwood was too heavy, it was gross to me. Um, I've tried it in a, a, a Scentsy, uh, oh, I just went blank. <laughs> I tried it in the car and I, st I still couldn't do it. Um, I even tried it in the Scentsy pods mixed with Kikui and coconut and that made it a little bit better, but the sandalwood was still too strong for me. But now that my, my nose and, and scent preferences are changing recently, um, maybe I'll get around to actually locking this one, but okay. What is Bonfire Beach? Toasted marshmallow smoldering over white flint and sandalwood, harmonized with salty sea air and ocean spray. Mostly all I get is sandalwood, maybe a, a slight saltiness, and then just like a tiny bit of, of, of a deeper marshmallow in the background. Um, this scent disappointed me initially last year when I smelled it because I was really, really hoping for that toasted marshmallow to come out more. 
And still back then and still today, the sandalwood is what I get primarily, which I traditionally don't like sandalwood. Um, but um, I love my friend Logan smell this one and he said that he mostly got marshmallow. So different people smell different things. But yeah, mostly I get sandalwood, a tiny bit of saltiness, and then a little bit of marshmallow is very, very much in the background for me. So that's Bonfire Beach. Next is Coastal Sunset. And this is probably the one sandalwood heavy scent that I actually do like. Um, Coastal Sunset is another bestseller. And it says, creamy coconut and sandalwood set the scene for warm amethyst amber. Mm, this scent is so good, you guys. Okay. Mostly I get, this is kind of like, I don't know if I would call this a woodsy scent. Um, I'm not sure what I would call it. It's kind of like a very comforting, perfumey scent to me. It's definitely a creamy, sweet coconut. It's not bright and tropical. Um, I mean, it's tropical, but it's more like an evening tropical, you know, like you're just relaxing on the beach at night. The sun had just gone down and there's a kind of a cool breeze, but it's just very calming um, and warm while still being tropical, if that makes any sense. So yeah, primarily my nose, I get the creamy coconut and the amber coming through, which the amber is probably what makes it feel more like perfumey, more, um, more elegant. And then I get the sandalwood um, coming through in the background. Last year I had this going in a uh, fragrance flower. I absolutely adored it. So I'm so excited that it's back in this, um, in this catalog and I will be picking up Coastal Sunset. Next is Mystery Man, if you like your masculine cologne type scents. And it says warm white cedar, green verbena, and citrusy bergamot in a perfectly spiced sensual fragrance. In the past, I haven't been able to, I've kind of not given this one the attention it probably deserves because I just wasn't into these scents kind of scents. To me, I'm still getting something like sandalwood or mahogany, which I do not like. But it says white cedar, tangerine. No, no, no. White cedar, verbania, bergamot. Maybe it's the verbania. I don't know. I don't know. It's definitely um, like a citrusy, woodsy, mince cologne. So if you like that sort of thing, you're probably gonna like Mystery Man. Um, I just don't think it's my, my thing as of right now. All right, next is Sandalwood Tangerine. And this is the first time I believe that Sandalwood Tangerine is actually like in a catalog. This came out last, was it Father's Day? I think it was a Father's Day limited time offer last year. And apparently it was popular enough for them to bring it back in the catalog. So. Sandalwood Tangerine, it says white cedar, again, white cedar, okay, white cedar and a spritz of tangerine brightens sandalwood groves. Yes. To me, I mostly get the sandalwood, unfortunately. Whenever I warm it up, I do get a little bit of the sweetness from the tangerine. But yeah, I, I'm not a fan just because I don't like sandalwood. But yes, if you love any type of like orange scent and you love sandalwood, this is gonna be right up your alley. That's sandalwood tangerine. All right, we have two more and they're classics. First is weathered leather. Step into an old fashioned saddle shop brimming with dark suede, tooled leather, and vintage saddles over a backdrop of oak. So suede, leather, oak. I love this scent, you guys. I love the smell of leather. This takes me back to my, to my childhood. Um, one of my dad's best friends, his name is Darren. He, um, he's a carpenter. So he like makes a lot of cabinets for like people's home custom cabinets. And he builds, he does a lot of woodwork. And at his shop in his office that he had where he kept his computer and, and did the business type stuff, 
he always had weathered leather or some kind of leather scent going in his office and I just, I love it. And I also grew up on a farm and I showed cattle in FFA. So obviously we had leather boots and belts and lots of leather around us a lot. So leather is something um, that I really like smelling. This kind of has a cooling aspect to it. It's not deep and dark like most um, Wizzy scents are. It doesn't bring your nose, it doesn't feel, feel stiff and thick in my nose. It's very uplifting and light. The scent is not light, it's very strong. But the scent profile in itself is a very cooling and uplifting kind of leather scent. I love it. Um, I've heard people say, um, there's another consultant from Canada, which is his question, why does weathered leather keep coming back? Why don't they get rid of weathered leather? And it's because people love it, especially in Texas where I'm from. Weathered leather is a classic and I hope it never goes away. All right, next is white amber and teak. And it says alluring amber and teak flirt with fresh bergamot. And teak is another wood that I just don't like. I've noticed that if it has teak in it, I'm probably not gonna like it. Kind of like mahogany and sandalwood. There's just something about them. They all smell very similar to me. Um, and I just, I can't tolerate it. So this is a scent that I do not like. I don't get too much of the bergamot. Um, maybe if it had more bergamot that I would be able to do it better, but amber, amber is kind of like heavy um, in itself. And then when you add the teak to it, it's too much for me. It doesn't smell like men's cologne per se. Um, it could be a men's cologne, but there's not enough, there's not as much citrus in it as say Mystery Man has. It's, it's very much more subdued and more, um, more singular, more like just straight across and level. There's not like, there's not different, um, different aspects to this scent. It's very much a one note scent in my opinion. But yeah, this is a bestseller. So a lot of people like it. Um, my friends like this one whenever they smelled it, but, um, they, if you like sandalwood, if you like mahogany, if you like teak, if you like the masculine scents, you're probably going to love this one. It's just not my cup of tea, but yeah, that's all of the woodsy category in this year's spring and summer 2023 catalog. So I'll leave my website down below and I'll leave the, the links to my other sniff through videos that I've already, um, posted down below. Uh, do not feel any pressure to order from me. I, like I said, I only, I'm only a sensing consultant for my own benefit of getting testers and getting a discount for the things that I already purchased. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know if any of these wood scents are any of your favorites, or if you have any questions, like if something, um, how something compares to another scent that you may like, um, I'll let you know what I think um, and make comparisons or recommendations depending on what you're looking for. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.